All our wisdom watchers, this is Scott Angro, the, uh, the head of uh, Golden Eagle Resort here on beautiful Lac Sewell. How are the fish biting out here, Scott? Well, these uh, last few days have been kind of slow, I guess I would say. I'm so accustomed to having fantastic fishing. Um, and you guys think it's great, but me, I've been spoiled here. Um, we have gotten fish. I mean, it's, 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 it's been no problem catching fish. Uh, weather has been mostly the uh, part of it has, has been weather related. Uh, but other than that, fishing's great. Uh, the guys are happy. Uh, we did a little guiding uh, for you guys on Monday. We, we had fun. We found fish. We caught fish. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's uh, absolutely fantastic out here. So what sort of lures have they been biting on this year on Lake School? Well, of course, this time of the year, um, early like this, it's basically a jig and minnow bite, a very slow presentation. Uh, the, the, the fish really don't want to chase anything yet. Uh, water's fairly cool. It is warming up. Um, later on, of course, this year, when we start getting into uh, spinners, inline spinners and a, a few crank baits, um, you know, pulling bottom bouncers is not necessary out here. These fish tend to stay fairly shallow during the entire season. I mean, it's not uncommon to catch fish out here in August in seven, eight feet of water against the weed line edge. Um, so, but early like this, May and June, we're still using jigs in a, in a minnow. Mm -hmm. So, how about the, uh, the pike fishing? We had some good times with that this week. Caught quite a few pike. Yeah, you guys found some pike. Um, of course, those pike, of course, are in the same area as these walleyes are. What they're doing is they're feeding on these post spawn walleyes that are still in these spotting areas because they don't have any uh, real major source of food right now. So the bigger pike are in close with the with the walleyes. You know, walleye fishermen pick them up all the time. You know, it's, and it's not uncommon to have one come up next to the boat and take one off you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs>